Well, hello, how are you third year? Fine, okay. Good, Josefina, Guillermina, Daniel, Rodri, Benicio, Maximo, Mia, Camila. Okay, how are you today? Fine, okay, well, today bye bye unit two, hello with unit three, okay? And it's Wednesday, what day is it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what day is it? It's Wednesday and it's the 22nd of April. Okay, well done. Well, um, I want you to uh, pay attention because today, Unit 3, clear the table, please, clear the table. Yes, then I will tell you what you have to do. Yes, okay. And I want you to think about this, yes, okay. I want you to look at the picture, think about this, what we are going to see there, yes. And what can you tell me, what things, what words can you tell me about um, the picture, all right? Is it clear? So you will see the picture and I want you to tell me some adjectives, some words as regard the picture, yes, okay? Long adjectives, short adjectives, yes, I want you to tell me that, okay? Good. Okay, so you know, as, uh, as you know, Unit 3 is about transport, yes, okay? Uh, what transports do you think we will have in the future? So I want you to think about this. What, yes, what transport, how transports? will be, transports will be in the future, yes, okay, um, I want you to put like this, at home, I want you to, uh, now, yes, you can open your uh, notebook, yes, and I want you to put the dates, yes, quickly, and I want you to put transport of the future, yes, okay, and I want you to put like this, okay, many arrows, and I want you to write adjective, past, mm-hmm, Expensive? Tell me some adjective. I want you to dictate me some adjective. Uh -huh. Cheap can be. Okay, what else? Fast. Cheap. Yes. Expensive. What else? What else? Okay, so I want you to think about that. Um, what other words apart from adjectives? Yes, okay. So do you think, uh, do you remember the adjectives, yes, last class, yes, uh, we revised because there were many mistakes as regard, um, as regard comparative and superlatives, yes, okay, so do you think, um, do you think there will be, uh, will this, uh, will this transport, will be, will this transport be cheaper, do you think it, they will be cheaper, faster than now? Yes, okay. Remember? Do you think they will be cheaper? Faster? Okay. And what kind of adjective? If we have to uh, divide the adjective into short or long. Okay, so expensive is a long. So it will be more expensive than now. Yes, okay. So these are what? Adjectives, okay. Um, do you think uh, they will fly? Yes. So apart from adjectives, I want you to write down different um, verbs, fly, move, what else? Yes. They will be the same. Yes. Uh, if, will they use petrol? Solar energy? So I want you to think about this at home, yes, and talk about this picture for some minutes, yes. Try to use uh, faster than, more expensive than, cheaper than, yes. And I want you to think about this. Uh -huh. If how people will uh, um, go to work in the future, yes, by bus, by taxi, yes, by f on a ferry, yes, okay, by lorry, on a motorbike, by motorbike, yes, by plane, yes, on a ship, yes. So I want you to think about the different uh, means of transport of the future, yes, okay? And I want you to do like this. 
put different words. And one, once you have the words there, I want you to organize your description. You know, in the middle of the picture, on the right, on the left, in the background, at the top, at the bottom, in the background, in the foreground. Remember, four is frente, so al frente, in the foreground, in the background, okay? Yes. Um, There we are. Flying, move, petrol, yes, and more expensive, different things, yes, okay? Do you think people will fly? Yes? Uh, do we, will we have flights to the space? Will it be cheaper? Yes? Okay. Uh, Will it be a, a shopping center? Will it be an airport, a kind of airport uh, in the space? So we don't know. Yes, yeah, so I want you to think about this. Yes, I want you to think about it. Yes, okay. Sorry. Yes, okay. Will the buses be transparent? Will they be transparent? Yes, okay. Will you have to wait for a long time? Yes. Uh, will the means of transport be uh, crowded or will they be more comfortable or less comfortable than now? Yes. Okay. So remember, yes, the more, yes, I think they will be more comfortable. Than, than now, yes, uh, they will all, do you think they will be less comfortable? Yes, you know, less, okay, menos comfortable, less comfortable, comfortable than now, yes, yes, do you think uh, you could do it as, at home, yes, try to do it, okay, so pay attention now. Yes, once you finish describing the picture, yes, I want you to write out all the adjectives you remember. Yes, all the adjectives you remember. Yes, remember that if it is a short adjective and we have said there, you say faster than. Yes, okay. And tell me, yes, if it is a long adjective, you say the more, yes, you say more expensive than, yes, more, um, um, another adjective, uh, convenient, yes, done, yes, okay, so remember these are comparatives, but if you have the superlative, yes, you have the most, which could be the most expensive means of transport, yes, which one do you think would be the most expensive? This is review. Esto es revisión para ustedes, chicos. Eh? But I saw many mistakes as regard comparative and superlatives in the composition. So pay attention. This is your time. You have to pay attention here. Yes, this is a possibility you have to listen again to all the instructions about comparatives and superlatives. All right? Yes? Okay? Uh, which, would, which one will be the cheapest? means of communicate, uh, communication, means of transport, yes, the cheapest, yeah, and then you have irregular, yes, okay, do you think buses, do you think buses will be better done, acordate, los irregulares, better done, yes, which one do you think will be the best, the best, yes, el mejor, Yes, mejor que, yes, okay. Entonces, acordate de los irregulars too, yes. Pay attention, yes, okay. Um, well, I want you to think about this. Which, which means of transport, transport will be the most popular, yes. The least, the least, the least. The least. The list. El menos, muy bien. The least popular. 
Which one? Yes? Okay. The bu buses, trains, bicycles. Do you consider people will continue using uh, bicycles in the future? Yes, will be the faster. Which will be the fastest way of um, transport? Okay, so I want you to think about all these aspects. Yes, okay. And I want you to compare this. Yes, okay. And use superlative. Yes. And do you think of the um, bicycles as uh, will be will be as important do you think attention do you think bicycle will be as important as trains yes okay as us okay do you think uh trains will be as popular as popular as bicycle yes do you think Taxis will be as popular as um, trains, as bicycles, yes, okay, as us. Mm -hmm. Do you think vegetables are as important as fruits? Yes, okay, well, no, this is as us. So now, as you have everything uh, explained, yes, I want you to go very quickly, very quickly, yes, and you hope... 37 to here, yes, okay, 33, 34, 55, 56, and 30, 37, yes, okay, good, well, is it clear, hasta ahí estamos claros, so you have long adjectives, short adjectives, irregular adjectives, then you have how to form, yes, when it is a short adjective, if we can say short, divide it, Divide them into short and long adjective. You already know this. But then you have the us, us. Yes, when you compare. Yes, okay. Uh, teacher Ruth is us. Um, teacher um, Kevin is as tall as teacher Jesus, for example. Yes, is it clear? So now I did the, compar the comparative with uh, means of transport because we are in transport in these units. Okay? Well, and then you have uh, modifiers, and it's like this. When you use a bit, yes, a bit. I think a car, yes, I think a car will be a bit cheaper. Yes, I think a car will be a bit cheaper. I think it is a bit cheaper in the future. Yes? Un poco más barato, yes? Okay, yes? I think your test, your test will be a bit difficult next uh, in the next unit, okay? So, is it clear? A bit plus, yes? Okay, a bit, yes? A little, a little, yes? I think cars will be a little, no, I think bicycles will be a little faster, a little, a little faster in the future. Atención, eh? Yes, repetítelo si te cuesta esto y hace ejemplos en casa. Yes, okay, pienso un objeto, think about taxis. I think taxis will be a bit cheap, uh, no, you know, a bit cheaper. Yes, I think uh, taxis, uh, will be a little faster, un poco más rápido, yes, okay? Or much also, yes? Black car drivers are much faster, yes? Much faster, yes? What is a cab? Yes? Yes, take a cab, it's a taxi. It's taxi in American English and cab in British, British English, okay? So, I want you to think about that, yes, okay? Um, then you have a lot, yes, a lot, mucho más, a lot less, yes, taxi drivers, taxi drivers could be a lot less, uh, a lot less uh, reliable, yes, in the future, yes, a lot less, mucho menos, yes, 
a lot less reliable, a lot less um, comfortable can be, yes? So I want you to think about this. So a lot less reliable, a lot less comfortable, uh, a bit cheaper, a bit more expensive, a little faster, yes, okay? Well, so now I want you to go to the pages and put the date 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37. If you need to listen again to the, uh, the explanations, you only have to rewind the video, listen again and play it again, yes? I tell you how we are going to organize like always, yes? I will dictate the words, continue with the unit, but when you, I will say you have to do exercises one, two, three, four. That is the time where you have to pause the video, do the activities quickly, and then listen to the answers, okay? But don't, um, don't waste a lot of time for exercises one and two, and relax, and then look at the starts, and no, okay? Try to do with the same, with the same rhythm we do in the class because I don't want you to lose your rhythm, yes? Okay, I want you to continue with the same rhythm, yes? So that uh, when we um, are together again, yes, everything will be the same, yes? Everything is the same, okay? Let's go, very quickly, uh, page number uh, 33. Yes, okay, get... Let's go very quickly, there, okay, and I want you to have a look at the picture, there is a woman there, I want you to think about this woman, I want you to describe the picture at home, and I want you to tell me why she's uh, traveling like this, in this way, do you think uh, it is a good way of traveling, do you think uh, she's uh, traveling in a comfortable way, why do you think she is like hidden there. Yes, okay? I want you to think about that, yes? In the middle, on the right, on the left, at the top, at the bottom, yes? And start describing that picture and telling me why, telling at home, yes? Why do you think she is there and she is in that situation, all right? Yes, good. Well, I want you to do exercise uh, two, yes, okay. Why do you think she's there? Why do you think she's, hi she's um, hidden? Why, uh, who is the man in the background? Yes, what is she wearing? Do you think it is a special uh, costume? Yes, where is she from? Yes, all those things when you describe that you have to take into account when you describe a picture, okay? Is it clear? Well, I tell you, um, she's a poor woman, yes, um, I don't think uh, she has a lot of, uh, she has a lot of money or she has, she has much money to buy a ticket. Uh, I think she's escaping, running away from some place, um, she's hidden from um, the ticket inspector, you know, that you have a ticket ticket inspector in a train when you are on a train so maybe that is happening so now in exercise two you are going to talk uh, you are going to listen to someone talking about the photo and um, why isn't the woman inside the train are you there there we are track 17 opener unit 3 opener this photo is on a train in Bangladesh it was the end of Ramadan, and lots of people travel home at that time of year. Train tickets sell out quickly, so you often see people riding on top of the trains and the carriages. In this picture, the woman is sitting between the carriages, because there isn't space on top of the train. It looks a bit dangerous, but she doesn't look very worried. Okay, so we already know that the, um, uh, she's between the carriages there. And why she's there? Because it's Ramadan. Yes, it's a period of Ramadan. And everybody wants to go. 
yeah so um she's there because all the tickets are so loud yes you know what is so loud when you are sell when all the tickets are sold yes okay no tickets yes for the train so she's hidden there yes okay uh, she's between the carriages you know carriages yes okay between the carriages yes okay she's sitting there um well she doesn't look very sad or worried yes she's okay because i think the only one the only thing she wants is to arrive yes there to the at the ramadan yes okay well is it clear so i want you to go to exercise three yes okay and uh work yes which ways of traveling do you prefer yes which uh way um means of travel do you prefer and why yes which one moves um uh better yes okay um well how do you do it how often do you take a train uh, how do you do at home how do you do in your routine yes do you uh, go by bicycle do you travel by train uh, no by train no because we don't have train here but uh, by buses yes do you um, ride your bike do you walk so i want you to think about it and we're going to correct exercise three okay how do you move a uh, house and furniture yes by train or food, by bus, in my car, yes, uh, get to the airport, how do you get to the airport, by lorry, yes, okay, um, on a ship, <laughs> yes, okay, because here in Formosa we can walk, because distances aren't, um, the places aren't very uh, low, we don't have a lot long distances, yes, so uh, we can ride our bikes, yes, um, by car, or even walk, yes, okay, three, in a taxi, in my car, by bus, by train, yes, these are your own ideas, yes, number four, in my car, a motorbike, five, on a ferry, on a ship, by plane, yes, okay, these are your own ideas, how you go shopping, by bus, by bicycle, by car, okay, so, I want you to think about it, and now we go to exercise, uh, page 34, 34, yes, okay, and how do you go to your place of work, this is what I was talking about, think about it, by car, by train, by bike, yes, how do you go to school, yes, do you use public transport, are public transport crowded in Formosa, yes, um, do they have air conditioner, yes, are they in good conditions, yes are they new are they old are they uh, expensive cheap yes okay are there often traffic problems uh, traffic jam yes okay you know well uh, rush hour aquí también es muy importante rush hour because it's the time that everybody is traveling yes it's the same time the other people yes okay it's the time that everybody is uh coming from work or going to work or school yes that is the rush hour okay well i want you to do exercise two three four and five yes and highlight the word building yes you know you have the compound nouns for example you have bus and stop and which is the place where you wait wait for the bus how do you call it? Is the bus stop? The bus stop. Yeah. So this is a compound noun. Yes. Okay. Good. You know, uh, you have two words. For example, airport. Yes. And this is a compound noun. Airport. Yes. Okay. Where you take the plane is the airport. Yes. Okay. Um, then we have another rush hour, as you, as I said, yes, okay, and you would have more, 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 city, center, yes, bus, station, yes, okay, and I want you to highlight, I want you to highlight 
the grammar charts there and the keywords here yes okay city center traffic jam rush hour speed limit mm, a limit of velocity fewer costs is fewer expensive or cheap in argentina so i want you to uh do that now is the time that you will post the video i will continue dictating recording the video but you post the video do the activities very quickly yes 10 minutes and then listen to the answers all right porque ese tiempo es el que no está contemplado en el que ustedes tienen cinco minutitos o menos por ejercicio si eso es el tiempo que tenemos en la clase real esta es la clase real pero sin ese tiempo en el que ustedes hacen esto no se tomen un tiempo largo porque este yes ok Get. Go to the toilet if you want, toilet if you want, and then come back very quickly. Okay, I dictate the, the answers, all right? Are you there? Good. Well, okay. Well, in number one is your, uh, well, you have to talk about this and tell me what you think. Yes. And in number two, three, A, B, two, C, four, D, one. Okay. Exercise three, one, B, two, B, three, B, four, A, 5C and 6B, yes? Okay, when you choose um, a means of transport, yes, you have to think about it. If it is, think about things, uh, uh, if it is cheap or not, uh, fuel, yes, the cost of fuel, yes, okay? Um, how it works, if it works with fuel, with solar energy. Do you think in the future everybody will have um, a car that works with solar energy? Do you think it would be possible? Do you think it would be more expensive, um, less expensive than a normal car? Yes, I want you to think about all these things, yes, okay? Um, well, if, about the cost. Yes, if the cost will be reduced or not, okay? Well, I want you to go to exercise four there. Yes, and, well, you know, compound nouns. Este sí me encantan a mí, los uh, compound nouns. I love them because you can form from two words, one word, okay? Bus stop, yes. Speed limit, number two. Traffic jam, number three. Rush hour. Traffic jam is embotellamiento, yes? When you are there, stuck. In that, mo at that moment, yes, where you can move and you have to wait, yes. In Asuncion, when, you, when it is a holiday and you are coming back from Asuncion, there is traffic um, uh, jam, yes, because everybody is uh, coming back at the same time because on Sunday we have to work and continue with the classes and everything, with the work, with work. Yes, so that is a traffic jam. Yes, and remember, rush hour, fuel costs, five. Yes, carbon emissions, city centers, container ships. Okay, exercise five. Are you there? Yes, okay, put talking. I want you to put talking there. Yes. And I want you to think about this. Which of the four transport solutions in the article do you think are good, a good idea? Uh, which traffic, traffic problem would they solve in this, in, in this area, in your area, okay? Well, what is your answer? Yes? Okay. Which is the, the most convenient, yes? Uh, that will help. The environment yes to use solar uh, energy car yes wind and uh, using the wind the energy wind energy yes what do you think yes so I want you
you to think about this. Yes, okay. Uh, use bicycle. Yes, which is the solution? Yes, okay. Uh, let's go to exercise six. Yes, okay. However, they may suggest, for example, using driver driverless cars uh, to stop pollution in a city or to solve the problem of having inconsiderate or angry drivers in the city in a city or using the cycle monorail monorail yes monorail because there are no good like no good bike lanes yes i think in formosa we need to have um bike lanes there is one a kind of bike lane in the um, in the boulevard in san martin boulevard yes but I think in the riverside, uh, they should uh, build another one, yes? Because I think it's very dangerous for uh, people who are in the roller, uh, in the rollers, yes? In the ro or roller skating or in the bikes, yes? Because they don't have a lane, a proper lane. So I think, yes, we have to say Geoffrey. <laughs> yes, I think I have to build a lane in the riverside, along the riverside for roller skaters and uh, people who cycle, yes, there, okay. Carbon. Yes, okay, good. Well, I want you to go to exercise six very quickly, and I want you to do, uh, to listen to the conversation between two colleagues at work, and you have to say which type of transfer do they talk about, yes, and the advantages and disadvantages that they name. Are you ready? Yes. Track 19, Unit 3A. Sorry I'm late. 8.30 in the morning is the worst time for traffic. I know what you mean. My bicycle is faster than your car in the rush hour. I'm sure it is, but I travel further than you. It'd take me hours by bicycle. There's also the cost of... Pe okay, farther, yes? This is another, another adjective that you have to highlight here because you have the comparative and superlative uh, charts, grammar charts, you know, father, man leco, yes, so she says that it's father, yes, from her house, yes, and in the rush hour, she has problems to arrive on time, yes, so think about that. Petrol, it's so expensive, hmm. tell me about it. You know, there she, uh, that is a good example of uh, what I said the other day, so. That is so expensive. Listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. Tell me about it. In fact, last week I went to look at an electric car. It's so expensive. Tell me about it. He didn't say a that clause. Yes, because you know that that clause after the so is common in the written form. But in the oral, that's what I was telling, the, telling you the other day. Yes, so, it's so expensive, oh, it's so hot, the intonation, yes, intonation is important. It's so expensive. Tell me about it. In fact, last week, I went to look at an electric car. Good idea. They're better for the environment. They're better, but they're also more expensive. In fact, a new electric car is the most expensive type of car. Really? Anyway, what about public transport? Isn't there a bus stop near your house? Yes, but the fastest bus takes over an hour. It stops everywhere. Hmm. You know, sometimes buses, yes, uh, aren't the good option because depending on the, um, the bus, yes, uh, as she said, they stop everywhere, depending on the stops, yes, okay? Well, uh, type of transport, bicycle, car, bus, yes. Advantage is faster than in the rush hour. Disadvantage takes long with, uh, takes too long with long distances, yes. Advantage, electric cars are better for the environment. 
but um, they are more expensive. The most expensive uh, means of transport, slow in rush hour, yeah. Cost, uh, petrol, electric cars are expensive. Eso es lo que mostró uh, the, um, the comparison, yes. Bus, that one, the, the previous one was the car. Yes, bus, disadvantage, slow, stops everywhere. Yes, okay, what we have said, okay. Exercise seven, number one, remember to stop the video, do the activities, yes, seven, 10, 14. Seven, 10, 14, okay? Good, seven, worst, faster, farther, 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 better, more, most, and fastest, yes? Okay, that was exercise seven. Let's go to exercise 10. Most popular, cheaper, better, slower, bigger, more popular, most expensive. Yes, all right. And there you have the speaking part that is 11 and I want you to highlight. Yes, everything, yes, okay. And at 11, this is 11. I want you to make comparative and superlative sentence using thinking about Transport. What I have introduced today, what you have listened from the listening, and I want you to say, trains are faster than, trains are cheaper than, okay? Bus, bicycles are quicker, quicker than, yes, quicker than, yes, okay? Uh, motorbikes are better than or are the best means of transport, okay? So I want you to have this paper, and I want you to put here comparatives and here superlative, divide the paper in two, and here put comparatives and superlatives. And I want you to write sentences using these transports, yes, and these adjectives, okay, in this chart. All right, page 35, okay? Is it clear? Yes, I want you to do short adjectives, long adjectives, short adjectives, Long adjective. Is it clear? That's all. Well, it must be. It must be with the date, and it must be on your uh, notebook of English. Okay. Well, and then in fourteen, you have to um, um, play. Uh, think about um, which type type of transport is the least and the most popular in Formosa. Yes, okay. I want you to think about Formosa and I want you to think about the best way, way of transport, the least uh, popular, yes, and the most popular, yes, okay, write it there. Let's go to pages 36 and 37, okay, are you there? So I want you to go to the listening part, yes, are you there? Yes, listening part, yes, okay, good. Read, look at the photos there of the camel, yes? And I want you to describe the photo and I want you to tell me where in the world do you think they are, yes? And what are the advantages of using animals, yes, as a means of transport? Do you think it's okay to use animals as a means of transport? Yes, okay. Think about it and we are going to go to the listening. This is part 21, of the documentary, okay? Unit 3B. When we talk about transport, most people think of buses, cars, bicycles and so on. But in some parts of the world, animal transport is as popular as these modern types of transport and sometimes more popular. Because at certain times of year, animals are the only way to travel. Take the desert, for example, with its 50 degree temperatures. Yes, you can cross it in the right vehicles, but for long distances, modern vehicles are not as good as camels. A camel can travel over 40 kilometers per day 40 kilometers per day. Pay attention. And go without water for three to five days. Three to five days.
to five days without drinking water. Oh my God, did you know that? Yes, it's slower. And maybe a camel isn't as comfortable as a car. But a camel's big feet make it more reliable in the sand. Unlike a car, it doesn't get stuck. Mm -hmm. Camels are so important in the desert that there are around 160 different ways of saying the word camel in Arabic. In winter, northern Alaska can be as cold as the North Pole. Temperatures go down to minus 50 degrees. Oh my God. Your engine can freeze. And even if your car stops... It's very, very cold. So the engine of your car can freeze. You know what is freeze? Is the verb of frozen. Frozen is the adjective and freeze is the verb. Freeze! Congela. Yeah? Okay. But snow and ice on the road can make driving impossible. When the weather is as bad as this, the only way to travel is by sledge with a team of between six and eight huskies. You know, the dog, huskies, yes? When the weather is as bad as this, the only way to travel is as by sledge as. with a team of between six and eight huskies. These famous dogs can pull heavy sledges for hundreds of kilometers. There is even a race for huskies in Alaska called the Iditarod, where large teams of huskies pull sledges over 1,600 kilometers. Okay, what are sledge? Yes, sledge. Santa Claus travels yes on its on his sledge yes okay trineo yes okay good did you know everything this is part of a documentary okay number two well camels are more reliable yes uh, in the sun it's a good they are good vehicles yes they are better they can travel they are better they can travel long distances uh they have bigger uh feet yes uh, they can travel long distances without drinking water for two or three days, yes? Um, we are talking uh, when the climate doesn't help, yes? You know, very cold um, weather or very hot weather, okay? So I want you to think about that. Dogs are also good over long distances when the weather is bad, when we talk about that. Um, well, you know, the weather conditions uh, don't help. So at those uh, moments, okay, animals can help to move from one place to the other. Okay, so I want you to go to exercise three. You are going to play it again. Yes, okay. And you're going to put 50 degrees uh, is the temperature in the vessel. 40 kilometers, yes, remember to stop the video, do it, and then listen again. 40 kilometers, yes, is the distance a, ca a camel can travel from one place to the other, yes. In a day, yes, three to five days is the length of time camel can go without water. Yes, 1.160 words, they are, uh, there are 160 words for camel in Arabic. Husky, 50 degrees, winter temperature, yes, yeah, six and eight huskies is the number of huskies as sledge, uh, you know, because they go in a team, yes, did you know that? So uh, they uh, pull the sledge in teams, yeah, okay, good. And the number uh, in the team is between six and eight, okay? Well, that, those are very interesting uh, data. Okay, so let's go to exercise five and I want you to do exercise five. Now you pause it and I will dictate the words. Number two, isn't as slow as, exercise five, two, three, as fast as, four, as popular as, 
isn't as busy as. Yes, okay. Yes, all right, there we are. So let's go to exercise seven from page 37. Come on, the class is about to finish. Yes, okay, wake up. Yes, all right, are you there? So wake up seven and you have to write sentences there. Yes, is your partner as taller, as tall as you? Yes, is your teacher as modern as you? Yes, okay, so I want you to write own sentences with us, us, on the same sheet of paper, on the same piece of paper, okay? Good, well, um, exercise eight, are you there? Yes, okay, I want you to read a part of this article about taxes in London, yes, um, what does it compare? So, I want you to highlight the adjectives that we use when we are talking about um, means of transport, okay? So we have convenient, repetition, frequent, comfortable, okay, comfortable, traditional, punctual, reliable, okay? Confiable is reliable, ¿eh? Porque creo que alguien preguntó ahí en casa, ¿ok? Que no quisiera googlear la palabra reliable, ¿bien? I love the dictionary online because you click on that and you have as a magic thing, as a magical thing, you have the word and the pronunciation there. So it's great, ¿yes? Ok, well, I want you to go to um, exercise 8. Are you ready? Ready? It compares using traditional black cabs. Did you notice uh, before in the class, do you remember when I told you that you call taxi uh, when you go to um, um, the USA? Yes, uh, you call it taxi, they are yellow. And if you go to um, London, for example, the taxis are not called taxis, they are called cabs, C-A-B, and they are black. Yes, okay, and it compares the traditional black cabs in London to using private hire taxis from companies such as Uber, yes, Carvo, or Addison Lee. Yes, see, Uber is the is uh, the most traditional. Yes, okay. Uh, do you agree um, with this idea of using Uber? Yes, is it reliable? Yes, is it cheaper? Yes, because it, it isn't a traditional way of transfer, but is it reliable? So I want you to think about this. When you're thinking, what about the remises in Formosa? I have a very bad opinion about remises in Formosa, and I will tell you. Uh, they are not reliable. They are, um, they are punctual. Yes, they can be punctual. Yes, uh, they are very old. Yes. Uh, they are not very comfortable and the drivers, not all, but the majority of the drivers are very dirty, yes? Not only the man, the driver, but also the car, they don't smell well, yes? Uh, the drivers don't smell well and the car is very untidy and very... Um, uh, you know, dirty. Yes, it's not clean. So I think uh, in Formosa uh, we, they should improve. Yes, okay. Um, the ta the remises. Yes, okay. Because we don't have taxis here. Yes, so they are not reliable at all. Yes, okay. Um, well, they are cheaper. Yes, okay. Good. Well, now everything uh, is more expensive than in the past. But well. Think about that, if you have ever traveled by Remis. Yes, okay. Um, do I don't know we have Uber here. No tenemos Uber acá? No, we don't have it. Yes, okay. Um, punctual, number nine, punctual. I want you to highlight there. Convenient, frequent, comfortable, traditional, punctual, and reliable. Yes, okay. Number, um, are you there in nine? One, punctual, repetition. 
frequent, traditional, comfortable, convenient, reliable. Okay, and now we go to exercise 10 and you have comparative modifiers. Everything what you have there in the charts, in the grammar charts, you already know that in the first part of the class, in the warm up, I already explained everything and we have already done all the explanations. So, the only thing you have to do there is to highlight the charts and do the activity because you have already listened to the explanation. So, when we go to these parts of the class, you have to do only the exercise. You only have to do the exercises there, all right? So, remember to pause the video, do the activities and listen to the answers, all right? Good. So, let's go to exercise 10, a bit, a little, much, you know, a bit, a bit. Yes, number one. Yes, I'm in 10. Yes, a bit or a little before a comparative adjective. Yes, okay. Number two, much, much, much. Yes, we use much or a lot before a comparative adjective. These are modifiers que presentó la teacher antes. And now in exercise 11, you have to, um, what you have to do there is you have to look at the information about transfers for visitors to London. Write sentences using the idea, comparative mo modifiers, yes? Y tengo marcado a lot. London bus is, a London bus is a lot less expensive than a black camp. London, a Lon London buses are, ¿qué van a poner? Van a ver la frecuencia, ¿eh? ¿vieron que tienen prices? Frequencies and other information. Yes? Yes or no? Yes? Okay? You have riverboat, a black cab, and a London bus. A London bus. Okay? Riverboat is our boats that are in the river. Yes? Okay? So, are you ready? Do it. Stop it now, your video. Pause it and then listen to the answers. A London bus is a lot or much less expensive than a black cab or a riverboat. London buses are a lot or much more frequent than riverboats. Three, the riverboat is a lot or much more comfortable than standing on the bus, yes, because you can sit there. And a black cab is a bit or a little much more convenient than a bus, a little more convenient than a bus. And in exercise, exercise 13, yes, 13, what you will do there, yes, is speaking, yes. Este va a ser el speaking para el, el, el final de la unidad 3, yeah. What advice would you give a visitor who arrives in your country from the first time? What are the best ways to get around? Yes, okay. So this is for next. So I want you to, uh, not now, because you don't have to send me any video, the homework, uh, Pages 20, 21, 22, and 23. Yes, okay, from the activity book. But think about that, and I want you to write all the ideas, which are the best ways. Remember, the person doesn't arrive directly to Formosa. The person arrives, yes, the first part is Buenos Aires. All right, is it clear? So you have arrived in, arrived at, yes, okay? So pay attention, yes, to arrive in, arrive at. Um, this is from the class book and see you next class. Happy weekend. See you later. Bye bye.